been waiting for my field with my favourite tree in to be harvested. And I thought I'd just go a quick drive down to see if they've actually cut the field. Um, and you're not going to believe it, they've just started. The um, I drove past the combine and I'm thinking, I wonder where that's going. So I've turned around, come back, and it's in the field. I want to photograph with my low tree. I cannot believe it. How about that for um, timing? It was meant to be. So <laughs> I've shot back home. It's only two minute drive from home, five minute drive at most. And um, I thought, I have got to try and photograph this. <laughs> so I've grabbed all my gear and I'm on my way back down there. So that's the plan. Um, so that plan works. <laughs> bit of a hectic rush down but um, I think I've got plenty of time because they're doing over the the brow of the field there first the top of the field which is giving me time um, to get set up and obviously keep out their way as well so uh, I'm on the I'm on the the right of way anyway so we, we haven't got a problem as such but I think the farmer will be back down again soon so I will ask his permission anyway um, but I can't see there being a problem. Brought the drone as well, so we'll get, we'll get the drone up at some point, we'll be a lot, and get a little bit of nice footage. Now, this is this is the lone tree that I've been, been trying to capture now, all season, and um, this is sort of my fifth or sixth visit to this, this little area here, this field, with this tree in. Um, literally done a vlog a fortnight ago at the most. Um, and uh, to capture this lone tree, which I promised at the time I would try and get them um, um, harvest in the field. So every now and again, I come and drive around past here. Um, and this one time, literally 15 minutes ago, I've come and drive past. I thought, I'm just gonna have a look at the field, see if they've harvested it, see if I'm too late. Couldn't see it with cut. Went down the hill and there's an harvester coming back up combine so I thought that's got to be gone that's feels about the only field that ain't been harvested yet so I've turned around followed it back up and it's pulled in the field so the timing couldn't be better I cannot believe it the only thing that could be better is the weather but we're gonna get loads of dust and atmosphere and and um, all that type of thing so that will make it anyway and should get some nice drone footage to be honest uh, but like I say, at the minute I can hear it working right over the, the far end. So at the moment I'm absolutely wasting my time. Take, I can't see anything bar a bit of dust right in the distance behind the trees. Um, so when it comes this way, I'll start getting the tractor moving backwards and forwards and the combine and what have you. And um, like I say, it is a right away all the way through the fields and past the actual tree itself. So we've, 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 we've not breaking any laws. But I just think out of politeness, it'd be nice if I could capture the farmer. And um, I'd probably send him a photo, to be honest, as well, which would be nice for him. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to sit here. I meant to bring a, a bottle of water down with me, left it in the van. Um, the van is literally just the other side of the gate up there. So all we wait for now is action. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a beauty. Shamey tent just at the end of the day, dusk. I'm pushing it now and I'm absolutely pushing it, but in my mind it was end of the day, just as the lights coming on the tractor, a bit of dusk. Mind you, it's, I don't know how long it takes them to do it, but um, if they're there here till later, I might pop home, quick bite to eat, come back again. <laughs> Super duper stuff. But yeah, I just wish I'd have brought a little bit of food with me. Right. I don't think these guys hang around either, so um, let's capture these um, farmers doing what they do best.
looks like he's going all around the edge first. Whether he keeps just going in circles, I don't think. I'm not sure. I think he'll go around the edge and then start moving up and down. Because really, I want him in the, the middle of the field-ish or near that tree. But we'll see. We'll, we'll let things develop and see what images come along. But buzz in. <laughs> Fantastic. He's gone round the total field once on the outside. So I'm just wondering if he is going to be coming back and forwards or does he rotate all the way around the field? That's one thing I need to know. Um, just to get. It's good to know so I can get the sub subjects where I want them in an image. Um, and it's, like I say, it's a bit too close to the to the edge of the field at the minute, so I don't think it makes for such a nice photo. I think I'd rather have it where he's a bit further into the middle of the field, but we'll see what happens. OK, I think it's going to be a lot longer process than what I thought. Um, <laughs> I thought a couple of three hours and they'll be absolutely blasting it, but obviously they've got to fill these um, trailers up with the corn um, and he's, he's done his first one and the next next one's come along they've down in the corner um, loading it up so they've on the move again now I can just see the uh, the uh, combine just moving along it's first trailer done they've done just over a lap of the uh, the field there um, and it does look like they're going to be going around the field I wonder if they change their plan as they go along I don't know because it's a it's funny shaped field as well I suppose so there's challenges there <laughs> I could be here forever we'll just see we'll just see what happens and I might just try and capture an image as he's going around that corner there now probably too late actually yeah too late we'll get him on the next one um, the only thing is it means I can go and come back uh, so that's a big advantage and not only that the sky seems to be breaking up a fair bit so obviously depending on how long we we'll stop I'll try to get it off one of the, one of the tra tractor drivers but he didn't know <laughs> um, so yeah we shall stick it out for a bit. I think I've got some nice shots of them coming past me here, and then some as they, they're going up into the field there, but I really need them more in the middle of the field. I know I do, I know I need them more in the field. So what I might do is just give it an hour, go back, go back to the van, give it an hour, go back home, um, have a cup of tea, and I'm either gonna walk over with the dog, or I'll drive back down. I think I'll drive back down because the dog might be scared of the, the combine. I've come back, I've left it about an hour and a half. Sun's come out, um, and they've changed how they're plowing the field. They're going um, left and right now, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, and they're pretty much in the position that I want. At some point as they traverse the field there so i'm going to get back into my spot and i should get exactly the image i want and the drone footage i want so this is turning out to be an absolute peach of um a planned photography session now it's it's very um you have to be very proactive in the in the shot um, obviously because it's all acting in front of you but how it's how the plough on the field I couldn't ask for it to be any better um, the dust looks amazing around the vehicles uh, so I'm, I'm buzzing to be honest and like I say we've got some nice clouds some nice light uh, and <laughs> This is going to be a beauty, I'm sure of it. I just hope I can get some sort of image in my mind. The only other image I, that I did want in my mind is, like I say, if it was a, a sunset image and there were 
sort of where they are now, but at sunset, I think it'd be an amazing image. Um, but um, this will more than do. So I'm glad, I, I'm glad I've come back and left it a little bit. And like I say, the light's hit in the field, really, really nice. And we've got that bit of, nice bit of cloud as well. So, uh, <laughs> I am, like I say, I'm chuffed to bits, chuffed to bits. So we'll get set up, we'll get the tripod out, even though I probably don't need it. It just makes life a little bit easier. We'll see if we can get an image and get the drone up. Now they've just come in to where I want them to be in the image of this lone tree. So I'm just going to get the focus point, just pan it round. So I'm all ready, and I'm going to put you down for a second because I don't want to miss this one. It's perfect, really, because one's feeding the other. So, I would say the only minor issue is the amount of dust. Let's hope that dust settles. Okay, so he's coming into position. I'm going to focus on him very quickly. Coming in line with the tree. In line, and then just past the tree, we'll focus again. Now I've got two trees now that are sort of in the image. We've got that dust trail behind. Looks really nice. We'll get some images. <laughs> this is superb. Okay, things about ready to inline. The tractor's come back now, so I'm going to try and catch this image as he comes past the, the lone tree here. That's not a lone tree. <laughs> and, um, and then I think I'm going to get the drone up and get him in the middle of the field there. So, tractor's coming down the field now. So I'll, I'll, I'll um, hopefully be in the perfect position for me to take this image. And, and it looks nice now, just 
the lone tree without the uh, tractor there so I might even capture that so let's um, concentrate on some images and then I'll get back to you. I think I'm just going to let them pass once more. Uh, hopefully it's the tractor and the combine together. Um, coming past, I'll get some images. I've got some, I think some really good drone footage. And um, that's it really. And I'll probably just get the drone up one last time, see if I can get any drone images rather than footage. Um, but I'm one happy chap. So I've enjoyed this one. Um, Get out in your local field and uh, watch them harvest. You're going to have to be quick though, and it's probably too late by the time seeing this video, but maybe for next year. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Cheers.